this is gonna be part two. Uh, it's not quite done, but I'm waiting on a couple more uniseals. A local store has them, but I can get five for the price of one if I order online. So I can wait three, four days, not a big deal. So I can tell you what I have so far. The two tanks, now these could be in a little tighter, but I did not because I wanted a little more room to walk around. Um, I have room here, so I'm fine. So two tanks, I'll give you a closer look in a second. Draining in to the solids removal, which is a radial. That's flowing to that barrel behind there, which is my biofilter. That's gonna drain to my sump down there. Everything is two inch pipe across the board. Uh, the water flowing to the tanks is gonna be, I believe, three quarter inch. And there might be two three quarter inch to each one. I'll start with one. If I need to, I'll get two. I went with two because the more drain you have, the better. It, it, it's, that's what I learned in the other one. Don't skimp on the pipe. You can always go bigger. It, it does no harm. Now, nothing is glued or seamed. You can see that's off. I got that for a reason because two inch uniseals are a pain in the arse <laughs> to get through. You see there. What I had to do is, you see here, here how it's, uh, I grinded it down to a point. And I had to use some food grade silicone to get that on. Those are a pain, but if you grind it down to a point like I did and put some silicone on, it goes right in. Uh, when I had the inch and a half, the inch, the three quarter, the half inch, they went right in, but two inch was a little more of a pain. Okay, inside, you can see here, I got it down. Standpipes, not quite the middle, but close enough. And then you can see I got my aerator in this corner, and it's coming out, and I'll change it so it's going to flow that way, the airflow. So you can see right now I'm about five inches from the bottom, and if it's too close to the bottom where it stirs stuff up, I can always take that cap off, cut it because it's not glued, and put the directional cap back on. So that's this tank. This tank's pretty much a mirror image right there and with this over there. To get the silicone in, I had to crawl in. Take the shoes off, crawl in here and yeah, so I had to do that. So I got the top there not sealed obviously so it doesn't create a vacuum and it's standing off three quarter inches from the bottom right there. So you can see my radio flow here two standpipes. I was going to join them and go up, but uh, thanks to Rob Bob. He had a whole bunch of people say, hey, if you have two joining together coming up, you could have a gap at the bottom. So I just put the two. I crossed them a little bit uh, and put them up. Why I did that? I had two pipes this length, this, the length I needed. Instead of cutting in and doing anything, I just put it on and it worked fine. So so they're just up over there and up and it i'm sure it'll work fine and going in now here i did not have a 45 245s but what i did is instead of that's a regular 90 this is a, a 90 degree sweep uh if you go down you can see the angles different and i got the sweeps on down there too so not 45 and what's going to happen here is you can see it coming out of here it's going to go into that tank right about here. That's my biofilter. And I'll have an aerator coming in there, uh, a Venturi from the pump a little bit. And what's going to happen, I might have to put a second drain over to that, uh, possibly, because if water's coming from here and from the pump, the two inch might not be big enough. So I might have to do a second. But one thing I'm going to do a little different is the biofilter is going to be in here working and working. The water drains down. On top, I'm going to have two layers of a filter pad. Each one's about an inch thick. And what that'll do is if I get any solids here, when it comes on here and goes down through that, it'll uh, filter that out. And then every two, three days, I can take the top one off, clean it off, and put it back on, and I'm fine. Now, I'm going to have a grate across the top so my bio media can work down there at will. If that sounds confusing, you'll see it when I'm done. And then I'll just put a pipe over there to go down to the sump, and my sump will just go inside there. My pump will go inside my sump. I'll just submerge it down in there. I got a thousand gallon 
per hour pump for this system right here. And right here, or right here, I don't know, is where the strawberries will go. I'll put a bunch of strawberries. You'll see that, and then some Dutch buckets down there. You'll, you'll see those as I go, so. Just a quick peek as I'm working here. So now there won't be any updates on this for a few days until I get those unisils in. I got a bunch of other stuff to do around the land. I got to get a bunch of my watering stuff done, automated for my blackberries. I got a couple, oh boy, three, 400 blackberry plants and I got 40, 50 blueberries. I have to uh, get, uh, get all ready to go. So get the watering systems done to make it a lot easier to water. So that's it. I thought I'd give an update now. So it'll just kind of be sitting here for the next few days. So that's it. Hope everybody has a great day.